Latifa from the U.S. She says that an incident took place on Friday when a woman brought her child and during the Salat, the child was agitated and he started crying and shouting in the masjid. After the Salat was over, as usual, there has to be this person who stands up and appoints himself as the judge and the executioner at the same time. So this woman, most likely she's an old grumpy woman, started to shout in the masjid, scolding the mother for bringing her child into the masjid. So Latifa is asking, is this right? The answer is no, this is not right at all. Now, you cannot say that two wrongs make a right. You cannot fix a mistake with another mistake. The harm has already been done. Imagine a man coming to the masjid, urinating in the masjid of Medina, when, where the Prophet and his companions are sitting and watching. Now, you can scold the man. You can shout at him. You can even beat him. But the harm has been already inflicted. What did the Prophet say, Salam? Leave him, leave him. Don't cut him off. Let, let him finish what he's doing because the harm has been already done. So don't expand the harm. Let it be isolated in a certain area. Afterwards, he told them to rectify the problem with pouring a bucket of water. He spoke to the man and said, may Allah Azza wa have mercy upon you. Uh, these messages were not made for such filth. They were made for prayers, for dhikr, for reciting the Quran. End of story. He taught him. And this was the most diplomatic and polite way of the Prophet Islam, the best of teachers. What was the impact on the man's heart? He loved it. He embraced it. And he kept it with him to the grave. Now, look at this grumpy old woman who shouted at this woman and her child. What impact would she leave on that woman regarding attending the Salat in the Masjid? And on the child, who the trauma would probably remain with him for years to come. This is not the way of doing it. The woman was wrong. She should have tested her child. And once he started to cry, she should have broken her prayer and left the masjid. So that she would not annoy the other worshippers. But to be treated publicly in this fashion, what if she were to reply to that grumpy old woman and say shouting it's none of your business and she cursed her and swore against her she would go into MMA physical contact with her what is this this is a masjid and the prophet said do not raise your voices in the masjid so if the child was wrong the child is unaccountable this old grumpy woman is accountable for raising her voice and addressing that mother publicly like that. She should have spoken to her softly, sister, next time, please be careful. If your kid is not uh, uh, well behaved and would cry like this, prayer in your home is much better for you and Allah knows best.